tell Kenyans the truth. Who funded the prayer meeting? I, the Lord, am not a thief to steal. Tell Kenyans the truth. This is the government. This is for the government. Tell Kenyans the truth. I, the Lord, am not a thief to steal. Don't use taxpayers' money to do meetings in my name. When I know how many Kenyans are sleeping with empty stomachs, wow. when I know how many widows are suffering, I hear their prayers every day. I know how... Yo, so uh, this is actually Prophet or Dr. Samo and uh in this video so he just uh so this is according to him that he just received a message so what is what he's reading actually is a message that he had received from god uh and on this message is that uh god is asking god is saying tell kenyans the truth so there was a, a visitation from pastor benny Hinn in kenya just the other day it's called uh it was called uh, healing the nation crusade so there were a lot of, should I say, there are a lot of uh, critics from different men of God and also some who uh, really loved the whole crusade. So the crusade was uh, actually the main people there were, were prophet, was actually Pastor Benny Hinn. Uh, we had Sinach in the building. We had even, um, even, even the Ugandan pastor. Lubengo was there. We had uh, we had different men of God from different African countries, but also, but the main, main, main pastor there was Pastor Ben Hinn. So according to Pastor Ben Hinn, is that the president, first lady Rachel, actually went to him just to meet him and ask him to come, or actually just to plan that crusade and everything. But later on uh we saw the church coming and saying no 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 it wasn't this wasn't an event that was planned by the government but rather uh this was an event that was planned just by pastors and everything but on the event day itself we saw different uh leaders we saw even the president was there the president daughters were there the first lady were there and different um leaders actually in the government were present in that meeting so there has been a lot and a lot of questions. First of all, why, why are they trying to control the narrative that it is not uh, a government, uh, should I say, crusade, organized crusade? That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that uh, you, you see, you see, all these all these pastors who came in later on were trying to uh, just trying to wipe out that idea that it wasn't this wasn't planned by the government really, but. From Benny Hinn's mouth himself and even from the post that Sinach actually posted. Sinach made a post on Instagram and she said that uh, she was reached out by the state house. So which is actually just a state. It's actually a state. A state. Uh, it clearly shows that it was. It, it had to be a state function for the, for the state to go and, uh, and reach to Sinach and ask Sinach to be part of the crusade and everything. So... On this video, I'll be playing for you uh, just a segment on an expose that is done by Prophet Samo, where he's trying to tell us the main truth behind Pastor Benny Hinn visitation to Kenya. So let me just play it uh, right now, and then we'll we'll get back to this. We have men in this city; they have labored for the gospel. I don't care about their dramas, but one thing I know, they have labored for the gospel. Someone like bring it back a bit. Let's let's today, look as I want you, I will pass this mantle. Elisha tried to die with it. It was passed even through the bones. Are these not lies? If they know the men of God who are mistreated, those men of God did not die with the authority. They passed the authority. What Elijah did not finish, Elisha finished. The mantle will always pass to somebody when your time is over. Even meat was passed to me. So when did Benin became the chairman?
if it's not corruption and stealing. Do you think the sin of a nation like that one, God will speak to one person? We have men of God in this city. They have labored for the gospel. I don't care about their dramas, but one thing I know, they have labored for the gospel. Someone like James Nganga, Harrison Nganga, and many. We know men of God who has labored for this city. Let me tell you today and hear me. If it was not Nganga in this city, this city was, had been controlled by demons. God can't speak to all these people that they are being sent invitation letters to go and attend. How comes people can know them but God doesn't know them and yet he chose them. God couldn't go and talk to them and tell them this is the sin of the land. friends stop being fools the high time you need to arise and say I'll not be fooled anymore who told you when you ask questions it means you have little faith or you are doubting That is now the feedback. Wow. Yeah, so that is a uh, prophet Samuel right there. And uh actually I remember there was a time uh, in the crusade that now Ben was praying for the land and he just gave a, a brief history on the same. And uh, it came to a time that uh, now Ben Hind said that uh, he had forgiven Kenya generally as Kenya. And uh, now he prayed for Kenya and everything. So I don't know if that is where now the title healing, healing the nation, where it came from. Because now uh, as a country, uh, maybe I don't know if it's men of God or should I say the government felt that uh, they had offended uh, if it's Pastor Benny. Actually, this is the second time, if I'm not wrong, that Benny Hinn was actually coming to Kenya. So I don't know if uh, the first time, I think probably there could have been an issue or something. So, so Benny Hinn forgave Kenya. But now according to Prophet uh, Samo here, Prophet Samo doesn't, uh, he doesn't feel or he doesn't see that to be the reality. So according to what uh, he's saying is that there are a lot of hidden truths. There's the real truth on why Benin came to Kenya. It has got nothing to do with the healing of a whatsoever issue that was done. It has got nothing to do with that. And furthermore, uh, he's saying that uh, there are also great men of God in this land, which is which is very true. There are great men of God in Kenya, but uh, he's surprised that none of them had had he's saying that none of them god had spoken to them about anything like that because he's wondering then why how how did the voice just come from the government that uh we had wronged uh as kenyans that kenyans had wronged benny Hinn for them to go and ask him forgiveness and to ask him now to come back to the nation so i think it's a it's a whole complex uh it's a whole complex situation but but my overview of that is that uh, I, I think I think the I, I love the I love the crusade. It was uh, quite an impactful crusade. So politics aside, all 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 these uh, all these uh, agendas aside, I think it was a very powerful, very powerful uh, administration. It was quite very glorious with wonderful uh, music as well from Pastor Benny and uh, Sinach. Uh, it was quite glorious but i'd like to know what you guys think about this on the comment section 
what do you guys think about the truth the real truth behind pastor benny coming to kenya do you guys feel like possibly there could have been a hidden agenda do you guys think there could have been an hidden agenda on this on this video i'll have to reserve my comment on the same but i'd like to hear what you guys think about this so uh hit me up right there on the comment section give this video a like subscribe as usual and see you in the next video